Isa alayhi salam came with the following miracles. أَنِّي أَخْلُقُ لَكُمْ مِنَ الطِّينِ كَهَيْئَةِ الطَّيْرِ فَأَنْفُخُ فِيهِ فَيَكُونُ طَيْرًا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Isa alayhi salam speaking when he was a child but it happened later on. He made a bird-like statue of clay and blew in it. Suddenly it developed wings and flew off as a real bird. That's what the Quran says. That was a miracle given to the Prophet Isa. Jesus may peace be upon him. He would make something out of clay, image of a bird, blow into it, it would fly off as a real bird. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Three things are mentioned in this part of the verse. He was given the miracle by the power of Allah. This is not him. He says this is done by the leave of Allah, by the permission of Allah. Allah gives all the prophets, whatever they had was from Allah by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he says, Allah gave me the permission to do this to a bird. Secondly, those who were born blind, when he wiped his hand over their eyes, rubbed slightly, they began to see, they opened their eyes. This was not, we spoke about miracles a few days ago, of nowadays, where people use the jinn to cure people. This was a miracle of a prophet. There is a difference between the miracle of a prophet and something that is unacceptable. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us light so that we can see. And may Allah grant us eyesight. Some people have sight, but they don't see the signs of Allah. They are blinded to them. So here Allah is saying, He had this miracle. Jesus, may peace be upon him, could cure people who were born blind. That is what the Quran says. And the Quran says over and above that, when people had the disease of leprosy, the lepers, he would touch them and they would be cured. Their skin would return as pure as ever, as clean as ever, as healthy as ever. And on top of that, one of the biggest miracles that he had, after a person had died, he could go there and bring them back to life by the will of Allah. And this is mentioned in the Quran. And he says, it is not from me, it is from my maker. Allahu Akbar. This is given to me by the power of Allah. Why? Because the doctors used to say that they can prolong the life of people. So Allah says, hang on. You think you can prolong the life of people. Let them die. We will bring them back to life. Subhanallah. So he was one step higher. And this is why we mentioned the miracle of Musa alayhi salam, the prophet Moses, when he put his stick. And when those put their ropes, they knew that this is something that is from the creator. It's not magic. In the same way here, all those who wanted to see, they knew this is not medicine. This is no joke. This is no coincidence. This is something from the maker himself. Nobody can give life to the dead besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this, these were some of the miracles that happened. Isa alayhi salatu wasalam.